Hi there, I'm Ethan, and welcome to Wix Fixer. Now, wouldn't it be cool if you could have a button like this on your Wix website? And not only would you have a button like this, but that it could interact with your Wix website and send messages back and forth so that you would have the full functionality. Well, if you want to learn how to do that, then watch this video. <laughs> Okay, so uh, if you're interested in seeing how to unlock the full potential of Wix by incorporating HTML, CSS, JavaScript elements uh, that are custom made, and I'm talking here free tier. So this is not, you don't have to have the paid plan. This is not Wix custom elements. This is just embed code. So what you need to do is go over here to the left side, go over here to embed code, and embed HTML. And what this basically does is it gives you this HTML drawing board where you can write pure HTML code and have it displayed on your website. So what I'm going to be showing you today is first how to write some simple HTML code uh, and have it displayed on your website. Then I'm going to be showing you how to post messages back and forth. And when I say messages, this means any form of data it can be strings, it can be objects, uh, it can be arrays. So this is something quite powerful uh, to send them back and forth between your Wix website and this custom built uh, HTML code. And then I'm going to be showing you how to take that really cool button that I made, put it in your Wix website and make it communicate with your Wix website so that it has full functionality. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to show you how to write some simple uh, HTML here inside of this uh, custom code element. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a div. And then I'm going to give some styling to this div. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a style tag. And if you're not familiar at all with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, the basics, then this might be a little challenging for you. But there are a lot of situations where you might just copy someone else's code and paste it right in here. Uh, so it's still quite useful to follow along and learn how to use the Wix API uh, for the posting messages and stuff. So inside here, I'm just going to select our div and I'm going to give it some basic styling. So I'm going to do height 300 pixels, and do width 300 pixels, and I'm going to give it a background color. And that's going to be blue. Excellent. So if this is all working correctly, as soon as I click update here, and don't forget to click update because it won't save your code if you don't. So I click update here and we see my custom HTML element displayed. So yes, it's not very cool at the moment. It's actually quite boring, uh, but I'm going to take it up a level and I'm going to show you how we can actually change this HTML element using Wix, uh, code that we're going to write in Wix in our Bello. So in order to do that, we need to use this post message API. And if you check it out, then I'm just going to refresh so that I'm in the right place in the API. Basically, uh, all we have to do is copy this one line of code here and paste it into our Velo code. And what this does is basically it posts a message from our uh, Wix website to an HTML element which I'm going to call just plain HTML. So this is the ID of our element, and I'm going to name that here as well. So to this, I want to post a message to here, and instead of writing this, I'm going to post a message that just says green. Okay, and in order to really enhance this and show you the functionality, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a button to our uh, Wix website, and this button I will name button give it an ID of button, and I'm going to add a event handler for this button. And it's just going to be a simple on click. And we're going to execute this post message when I click on the button. Uh, and the reason for that is just because I really want you to see it happening uh, as I click on the button and not immediately when our page loads, which, was, which would be what happens if it was just in the on ready function. So this is not everything that we need. We need to put some code into our HTML element to tell it 
how to receive the message and how to handle that message. So that you can find right here in the Wix API as well. And I'll be linking to this in the description. Uh, so don't worry about that. And right in here, I'm going to go back into our code and I'm going to paste this right under my div. Okay, so this is how you're going to want to pretty much always lay it out. Just do styles on top, do your HTML uh, elements in the middle, and then on the bottom, the script. The script has to be on the bottom, otherwise you won't be able to select your HTML elements in the script. Uh, great, so we have our script over here, and let's kind of explain what's going on here. So I'm going to erase these two lines here in the middle, because they're not necessary for our uh, example. And basically what's going on here is that we have a event listener for the window, which is our iframe or our HTML uh, code block. And what it says is when it receives a message, egg, there's an event and that events data is basically the message that was sent from Velo. So you have to keep it like this. You need this if statement. If you don't have this if statement, it's not gonna work. And now we're gonna decide what we wanna do when we get that message. So what I want to do is I want to change the background color of this div. And to do that, first I'm going to need to uh, select this div inside of my JavaScript. So I'm going to say const div is equal to uh, document dot query selector div. And make sure there's no typos. And now what I can do is I can say div dot style dot background color and say that that will be equal to our event.data, okay, which should be equal to green. Okay, so that should be enough to change this uh, div to green. And again, don't forget to click on the update to update the code. So let's preview this and see uh, if that works. So I'm gonna preview and I'm going to click on our button and you see that the HTML element turned green. So this is pretty cool, um, but it's only halfway because we're interacting from our Wix website to the HTML. But now what if I want to send a message back? So in order to do that, we need to use the second half of the API, which is this on message API. And what it does is, first of all, we send a message from within our HTML element using this line of code right here. And then we receive it in the Velo using this code snippet here. Uh, so I'm going to first copy this over to my HTML element, edit that, and uh, right inside our HTML, sorry, inside the JavaScript, I'm going to add an event listener to our div. And what I basically want to do is log when the div is clicked. Okay, uh, listener, and we're going to listen for the click event, and we're going to have a callback function that will be executed when we uh, click on the div. And the callback function is going to be just sending the message back to our Velo. So here is what you send in the message, and this could be, again, any form of data. I'm just going to send a simple message, I was clicked. Okay. And here we need to put the URL of our live site. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna get just the, uh, the URL, the domain. And I'm gonna put that right over here. And I am going to click update. And now I just need to add the code for receiving the message on the side of the Velo. So I'm gonna put this right over here, change this to the name of our HTML element. And now I need to decide what I want to do with the data that comes back. So I'm just going to console.log event.data. Okay. And what that should do is just send us the message in the log saying I was clicked. And very important thing to note here is that this will not work in preview mode. This will only work uh, on our live site because we have to use that URL inside of the uh, HTML uh, block. So I'm going to publish my website and then I'm going to head over to the live site. I'm going to refresh the page just that it loads all the uh, new code and I'm going to inspect. So first of all, let's just check everything's working. So that way is working. And now when I click on my div, 
Okay, clicking off the div, nothing is happening. Clicking on the div, I was clicked, I was clicked, I was clicked. So you can see that it's sending a message every time I click on the div, and that is the reverse direction. So now you know how to add a custom HTML element for free to your free Wix website and how to make it interact with your Wix website back and forth. And now I'm going to be showing you the example with the super cool button that I created and how I can add that to my Wix website and have that uh, interact with my Wix website fully. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this button here on the side because we don't need that anymore. And here inside of the HTML element, I am going to select all and erase that. And now I'm going to be copying over the code for my buffering button over here. So first, let's start with the CSS, okay, because that's the styling. And one small thing that I'm going to change before I copy over the code is I'm going to get rid of this margin here, okay, so that it's not here in the middle, but it's actually on the upper left, because uh, that'll be easier to work with on the Wix website. And I'm just copying that all over and going to my element. And here, this is what we're going to have inside the style tag. Okay, so style, and in here goes our CSS. Excellent. I'm just going to click update so that, um, so that this is all saved. And next comes our HTML. So I'm going over to the button, and I'm going over to our HTML, grabbing that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that within body tags. Uh, as you saw before, it's not 100% necessary, but it does keep everything a little more organized. And in here is just going to go our regular HTML code. Excellent. And I'm going to update that. And last but not least will come our JavaScript. So before I copy over the JavaScript, I'm just going to explain how this button works, basically. So when the button is clicked, it runs this get data function. And then first it activates the styling for loading, OK, loading the data. And it sets a timeout to mimic uh, the time that it would take to uh, do any kind of process that takes a long time. And when that is done, it loads, uh, it displays the uh, loaded styling, okay, that the, the it says done and it returns the original color of the button. And this is what we're going to be changing inside of our uh, script on our Wix website so that this is really an interaction between the HTML, custom HTML button and our Wix website. So let me first just copy over the JavaScript as it is. Control C. And here I'm going to add some script tags under the body. And just going to plot my uh, JavaScript right in there. And I'm going to update this. And let's just check in preview mode here that our button is working as it should. So I'm going to click here, and we see the styling is working. And we're going to wait a few seconds, and we'll see that we're done. OK, so our button is working just as it did in the code pen. Uh, and that's already a huge step, because we have this super cool button on our Wix website uh, that we wouldn't have been able to create using regular Wix elements. But now let's actually make it interact with our Wix website and function as a button. So basically, what we're going to want to do is let's get rid of this code. Uh, make this work like a regular button. So when we click the button, we're going to want something to happen on our Wix website. So let's start with that functionality. So we have already our on message. And all I need to do here is edit the code. And right in here, inside of our get data function, after the buffering, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to send a message to our Wix to tell it that we're it should start executing the uh, the fetching of the data, for example. Okay, so we're going to do that again using this post message, and I'm going to put that right over here. And the message will be uh, get data exclamation point. Okay, and here for the website again, I need to use my live sites uh, domain, so I'm going to put that right over here. Okay, and I'm going to update that. And one more thing that I want to do is I want to take this timeout, okay? And I want to actually execute this timeout on the Wix website. Uh, why do I want to do that? Because 
I'm mimicking a situation where I click the button in my HTML, I'm doing something on my Wix website, and then I tell the button that I finished and that it can display the completed uh, styling. So what I'm going to need to do here is instead of having the timeout inside of this HTML, here all I'm going to have is the um, on message event listener. Okay, so I'm going to take this uh, from our documentation again. So I need to copy over this event listener. Uh, if you remember it by heart, you could type it out, but I just don't want to make any uh, small mistakes. And then uh, after we receive the event.data, so I'm going to give it a conditional. So I'm going to say, okay, let's say this data is equal to loaded. In that case, on the loaded function, which will style the button as loaded. Okay, so I'm going to update that. And then here inside of our uh, Wix code, so now when we get the message, so I'm going to console that message. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the timeout. Okay, which again is just mimicking the situation where we are doing something on our Wix website. Maybe we're, um, you know, uncollapsing, uh, you know, a, a strip or something like that, or we're actually fetching data, we're querying a collection, whatever we're doing. Uh, so let's say that that takes whatever we're doing, it takes seven seconds. And then when that's done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a message back to the HTML. So I'm going to post a message back to the HTML. And don't forget the pound sign over here. And that message will be loaded. Okay, because you remember that I created the condition inside of the HTML component uh, that it'll only um, display the loaded styling when it is loaded, uh, when, when the message is loaded. So this is all looks pretty good. And don't forget that this is something that we're going to need to test on our live site because uh, we have messages going back and forth. Uh, remember, sending messages to the HTML, we can do in preview mode. But receiving messages on our Wix website, we need to do in our live site. So I'm going to publish that. I'm going to refresh. And I'm going to be inspecting this here just to see that everything is working. So I'm clicking Submit. It says Get Data. OK, so something is happening now on my Wix website. Uh, maybe I'm filtering a repeater. Maybe I'm and done. OK, that was seven seconds later. So that is how you can take a completely customized HTML element styled with CSS, with JavaScript interactivity, the full toolbox of web development is at your fingertips and take that and put that into your Wix website and have it interact with the rest of your Wix website seamlessly. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe, comment below with things that you'd like to see, questions that you have, and I'd love to make a video about it. So I hope to see you next time.